Wir hatten gerade das Q&A mit den Entwicklern, beziehungsweise mit dem Entwickler Mara von Grayson Warfare und gleich werdet ihr im Hintergrund das ganze Q&A sehen, aber schon mal vorab ein paar Informationen für euch. Der Release wird am kommenden Montag, den 29.04. vorgestellt. Da freue ich mich riesig drauf, mit einem schönen Trailer. Es gibt vier Editionen. Einmal die Standard, die Tactical Elite und die Support Edition. Die Standard Edition kostet 35 Euro, die Tactical wird 57 Euro kosten, die Elite Edition wird 79 Euro kosten und die Supporter Edition wird 99 Euro kosten. Vielleicht wird es bei uns ein bisschen teurer sein, aber man weiß es nicht genau. Ich wünsche euch viel Spaß beim Q&A, lasst ein Like und ein Follow da und auf Wiedersehen. I want to thanks to the, like the influencers that they help us uh, with the testing. And, uh, you know, we did it uh, not because, not only because we want to have the, some kind of the marketing, but also show to everybody that the game is not scam, that it's like the real product and uh, that we believe to it. And uh, you can make the proper decision if you want to buy this game or not. So it wasn't just to uh, make you sad. You know, we are thinking about you a lot, but uh, yeah, this is what we did. It was super crazy. Some people can hear some, uh, no audio, you know, you see. Turn off the music of the bottom. Oh, <laughs> you need to turn off the uh, music. Okay, super, super. Hey, it's super crazy. Uh, what I was saying. Game. Yeah, it was like the, yeah, the, the, the days was super crazy when we had the playtest. Uh, we built the game basically two or three hours before. Uh, it was like the. You know, we try to polish it as much as possible. We try to uh, make it as stable as possible. Our guys was uh, uh, here like the every day to the night to help the people, restart the servers and uh, try to help them. Uh, thanks to uh, creators, we found a lot of uh, uh bugs and the issues which we are fixing we fix most of them uh and the game is like the in the good shape i think now so uh i am pleasure to announce you two uh news today but it's not uh, a release date you know first is that we will show you the uh our edition and pricing Second thing is that uh, we will uh, tell you when we will announce the release date. No, no, it will don't cost the 250, definitely. Uh, it will be under. Uh, but this is the two news which we will announce it. So at least you will know uh, when you will know about the release date, okay? So, uh, we, the current state of the game is the first early access is not like the, how the game will be, uh, in the next year or that we think that the, it's final. I think it's like the 20% of the game. We have a lot of ideas and a lot of design features, which we want to add. We know that the game still need a lot of works, that there is some kind of the fluffs or not everything is balanced, or for example, the AI is mostly the uh, common AI, you know, and um, this is what we will build during the, during the early access. Uh, as you are saying, the consoles, uh, the consoles will come sooner or later, but we need to focus on the stability and like the optimization and build like the more features. And maybe also build like the more fame around the game. So the big guys like Sony and Microsoft wants us uh, to be part of the consoles. You know, it's a little bit hard, uh, hard uh, to enter without like the when we are X mobile studio. Uh, so 
Uh, we will also reveal the roadmap, but uh, I think the after the early access, so you will see what is in the plan. The, there will be every six months big update. What we want to do is the is the when we release the early access, for example, we will do uh, a lot of hotfixes and patches so the game is stabilized and uh, running well for everybody. Then we will work on the new update and after the six months we will release the uh, huge update which will change a lot of stuff. Uh, I think what I can tell you, and I already said it, that first update will be mostly about the day-night stuff and uh, a lot of uh, things which you need for the day, uh, mostly for the night. And I think we will also improve the AI to be able to do uh, things in the night and going to sleep, for example, or camp somewhere. So it will, it will uh, change uh, the living world uh, during the night. Um, and the next update will, you know, we don't want to reveal every feature because we just want to keep something for, uh, you know, uh, like the not leak to, to our competitors. Or also, we will don't release every everything or every what we built in the update to you. So we will definitely have the, some sneaky features which you will have to find. Every update will be vibe, you know. So of course, because there will be a lot of changes. So after the six months, we will vibe it. We will vibe all the progress, and you will start again and enjoy the new new way how to play the game but now we are focusing mostly on the early access and to have it stable and optimized and uh, you know really good experience even if it's <laughs> first uh, update okay um i think that's all you know from my point of view uh if you have any questions just write them I will try to uh, answer them. Please don't ask about the uh, release date. By the way, the release date is set in the stone for almost like the month. It's not like the that we just like the thinking because you know what's happening uh, on the Twitter and and uh, you know currently on the market. And uh, yeah, I cannot talk more you know about it. So. Okay, there will be definitely regional pricing. I am not the guy who is doing the pricing. And uh, uh, yes, it's like the, it will be regional pricing. Uh, I will reveal about the uh, additions uh, a little bit later. So maybe, you know, in the 15, 30 minutes, when you will stop to ask questions and starting to be really impatient, then maybe I will say it. Okay. Should we have the answer some questions or not? Oh, I cannot just even read it. How many questions are there? Uh, okay. So about the guns. I think the currently in the game is mostly Air 15. There is uh, uh, AKM, AK, there is Glock, there is TT, the pistol, there is Remington, shotgun, I think there is Remington, uh, sniper, there is Mosin, there is SKS, and there is another one, sniper gun. So this is the beginning. There is around the I don't know how many, I think the 600 uh, different, uh, 400 different weapon parts which you can collect and like to build the, your favorite gun. The more gun will come. Uh, in, the, in the update, we will also like the work, like the, in the next update, we will also work on the, a lot of uh, quality life stuff. So for example, some people uh, already experience frustration when they are reloading and cannot sprint. So we are working on these things, so we are able to cancel the reload and uh, do some things. We are not dying and not like the 
uh, you are not frustrated and don't blaming the designers or the developers that you die because of them. So there will be a lot of things which will improve during the during the uh, next update. You know, including for example the the landing zones. You know, so you can select more of them. So it's not like the completely uh, set in the one point. Uh, I think we add. Uh, you can shoot the. This is actually a very cool uh, story because we always had the shooting from the from the heli. You know, but we starting to focus more on the visual fidelity and the guns were clipping so we disable it which lead to the uh this kind of the ganking on the landing zone so we are returning it back so that i will be shooting from the heli we also prepare the really good defense of your base so it will be a lot of harder to enter there but i think it will be still possible we still think that is the part of the our uh, world how we build it so you should not feel the completely safe everywhere and of course we have always chance uh, or or a possibility to choose playing the pve only or pvp with the pve as the arm bands you know like the finding somebody like the, if it's like the friend and four we are thinking about something but i you know the the idea that the combat is a little bit slow and it's like the you have to make the decision if you are pressing the trigger and we don't want to that you are completely trigger happy and it's not like the call of duty or like the shoot immediately uh and kill everybody so we want like the, that you are thinking a little bit if uh if the guy is the foe on friend you know uh, armband is not actually what we want because you can decide it or see it immediately. So we are thinking about definitely uh, about this solution, but it should be like the in the in the vision. You know, the vision is not uh, Fortnite, Warzone, uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield. You know, this is not like the, this kind of the game. So yeah, we need to always think about uh, the feature, how to edit and how to fix it or how it should like to be part of the vision, you know? So that's the thing which we are like the always thinking. Okay, so there is some question. Uh, info campaign FOB base attacking too easy, spongy AI. So we fixed the uh, FOB attacking too easy. Definitely it's not like the easy anymore. There is some surprises for you. Spongy AI, we fix uh, a lot of uh, bugs which we had in the terminal ballistic because the code is very sophisticated and the simulation is very sophisticated. This means a lot of bugs or like the things which we didn't think or, you know, they are not, they were not working properly. So we fix probably five of the different bugs which we have, we rebalanced it. So some other guns are a little bit bigger. Uh, we change, uh, for example, you know, it, it, it's very, uh, how to say, it? it's really simulated. So for example, when the bullet is enter your body, we are simulating the cavity and with the every like the centimeters, it's like the releasing the cavity, releasing the energy to your organs and there was some kind of the bugs. So now it's a lot of better and we are currently testing it if uh, everything is as we want. So there was no uh, intention to have like the spongy AI, you know, this is not like the what uh, we want, you know, it should be very real and we try to simulate uh, the real terminal uh, ballistic and like the what is doing with the body. Of course, there is some limitations because we don't have the veins, you know, we don't have the spine, for example, you know, we don't have um, uh, every organ, you know, so we cannot be completely crazy, uh, but like the, we're trying to make it working. Uh, there is some other stuff that we want to avoid, for example, the leg meta, you know, this kind of the stuff. Uh, and also what is missing in the game is that the AI is already reacting on the injuries and some kind of the stress but it's still not like the like the players so we will uh, work on it during the next updates
to make them also their life like the, a little bit miserable when they are when they are injured or when they are hit or when the bullets are flying like the, around them. So they're already getting the fear. So we know uh, or AI know that the bullet is flying around them. They are getting like the more fear and they are losing the the confidence, you know, and trying to do something different. So, so you know, but not everything is perfect. We also uh, were not able to add like the every animation to the AI. So this is why they are not using the crouch, for example, or moving in the crouch and this kind of things. So, or they are not using the vaulting. So we will definitely work on it and introduce it in the next patch. Uh, different ready states, high ready, low ready, and this kind of the things. This is not planned in the current design. Uh, we didn't think uh, like the, it's in the ground branch. I am not. I am not sure if everybody wants to have it. It's like the, you know, if you will ask it, that is like the really cool feature. We can definitely add it. You know, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not difficult. You know, we are not strongly against it, but we just don't want to. That you have to learn, one hundred fifty keys to just play it well. You know, so, <laughs> so, so we still want to keep it like the. A little bit normal, you know, not like the super crazy as the as some other games. Um, okay, squad leads radio. This is what I don't know. Um, that the squad leads would be communicating with multiple squads and coordinating them. Oh, this is not what is implemented. We want to implement the faction radio, so so you can like the like the better communicate between like the every guy in the factions uh, in the faction so when for example somebody uh attack your um uh, fob you can like the call for the for the for the help and people can really fast return and and help you the another thing what is missing in the in the current game is that we want to have the uh, we call them real-time quests so, for example, when the other faction will attack your uh, base, we will create the faction uh, quest, special one, to clear this place. And you will get the special rewards for the killing the PMCs. This will be probably only one thing uh, where we will rewarding to killing the other players. You know, that's what is uh, in the plan and somewhere in the design, but we didn't have the time to implement the real-time quests. Uh, will there be changes to the economy until uh, early access release? We already changed it a little bit. We know that people are getting a lot of money. Uh, the goal is, you know, there is missing a lot of things to, to loot, because loot is mostly about the items which you can use now. There is no, like, the... Mm, how to say it like the something which has the just value and you can sell it you know this will be at through the early access maybe in the first update because we won't uh, motivate you for the exploration and not just like the killing running and playing the quest the the experience in the game has to be full you know as soon as possible can we change the factions mid vibe this is what is not supported now. Uh, we will definitely work on it uh, during the even, I think, the first update because a lot of people will want to do it and uh, there will be some kind of the limitation, so you cannot do it every day, but uh, definitely it will be possible. Will there be changes to the weapon modification UI? Uh, yeah, there is missing the weapon modification screen, basically. So uh, we already had the design for it. Uh, we have the mock-up. We just didn't have the time to implement it. Uh, it looks really nice, but uh, it wasn't in our uh, power or like the time to be able to do it. But we want, you know, we love it. Everybody love to like the play with the gun, see it from every side. So so it will be there. Uh, physical personal locker room hideout in the base camp. There is plan for the personal room. It's not hideout, right? You are not hiding somewhere. 
so we're trying to find even the name for it it's like the what the special forces or pms is living there i don't know if it will be part of the of the uh world map or if you will have to go outside and be somewhere else so we need to like to think about it but it's in the plan you know like the uh okay so you know the we want like the, that the, the, there is some kind of the cons and pro if should it if it should be in the in the world map or not because when you are in the world map and you are in your personal uh, room you are basically not playing you know and you are like the uh you are not active so so uh you are basically taking the place for somebody who can play so we're still thinking what is like the better if it should be inside the inside the world map or if it should be inside some hub where you are meeting with the, a lot of other people and you are just it's more like the social place which we already implemented in the past in some of our mobile games you know so so that's so uh, the thing which we are thinking there was some question about the weather weather will also come i don't know when but we have big plans with the weather because you know that in the asia when there is rainy it's super crazy it's completely changing the dynamic of the of the things it's very loudly it's uh rainy for days so it will be like the really cool and we also play wants to play with a lot of effects uh which are in the jungle before the rain after the rain you know and this kind of the thing so it should be very nice uh and you know when we put it together with the day night it should be really really cool you know uh okay what's next can we get ballistic girl in the base camp to play with uh i know that people were like the asking for it not now because we we just didn't have the time you know we need to think about it maybe we will just put it there maybe we can put it in your like the room or shooting range you know that's like the that's uh uh that's uh what we are thinking now there is also remove loots from the guards uh when the we will definitely do one thing that when the other faction is attacking your guards they can loot them if they kill them but the same faction cannot loot them because it means like the more easy and it could be exploitable i think so so and they have a very nice uh, or you know very um i think level three or level four guns so it's like the very expensive and very um you know effective so we will prohibit the same faction to looting the guards uh okay Karma system, that's, uh, there is some kind of the karma system. It's not like the karma. Uh, you have some relationship with the, with the NPCs and vendors and based on what you are doing, it's going up and down. Now it's mostly going up later. There will be some consequences. Uh, suppression fire effect AI, uh, not exactly. It's like the it's not same like the that they are losing the vision. Uh they have um, they are starting to panicking more or uh, you know it's not visible. We don't have the in the game we still don't have the colors, you know. It's like the it's there is 42 square kilometers and it's not so easy to build the cover system because we need to run it on the on the server and it's taking a lot of memory. So we are now like the thinking how to make it in the real time so the ai can find some covers around them and we need these covers not only for the fighting but also they need to find where they should like uh, run away and hide if they are panicking or if they are suppressed or whatever and because we don't have these covers even if we suppress them nothing will change because ai knows has or AI has very limited informations now in the world, you know. So, so this is what we need to fix and then work on the AI because AI is mostly about how many informations you can use and then to have the, some kind of the good idea or good design what to do with these uh, informations. Uh, 
they are it's, it's very difficult because um we have a lot of ais you know 1000 ais and we need to distribute the cpu time between them and they need to see they need to hear they need to cover uh, or gather a lot of information from the world and um, the server has to still run at least 30 fps so it's it's not easy and we need to really think about it how to do it Will there be different kind of enemies AI like bulldozer in the payday? N not this kind of the stuff, you know, it's uh, I don't know how to say it like the realistic game or like they'll be trying to mimic the realism. So there will not be special enemies like uh, like this one. There will be definitely different enemies. So, for example, we are planning that they are raiders. They are they are like the of course we call them also like the scuffs. They are guards. They are bosses. They are um, uh, soldiers. They are uh, sergeants. They are whatever. You know, there is a lot of things. They are bosses. So, so they will have the different behaviors. So, but it will take some kind of the time. But it's not like the bulldozer or like the have some rusher or you know something like this. It's still still gray zone. Will looting improve for early access? More valuable loot in the map. That's uh, that's what I don't know if we are able to add it. Um, <clears throat> but it will change during the early access. You know the the the. The release about the early access is mostly about the foundation. You know, it's about uh, servers are working, stuff is working, the combat is working. You know, you you are enjoying it. You feel the proper emotions during the fights, and you are enjoying it. You know, the the basic loop is working. Uh, the our technology which we built around the Unreal Five is working. Um, so it's so uh, yeah. It's not like the, there is not everything what we wanted to have there. Uh, will the weather affect terrain on helicopters? Uh, terrain definitely. Uh, it will change, you know, visually. It will, we want to flood or increase the water in the, for example, rivers or even the rice fields. Uh, I think it will affect your uh, health system differently. So, so let's see, it should change a lot of stuff, but I think it's like the, it will take some time. Binoculars, uh, GPS, range finders, this is something what is planned in the future. I don't know when, but definitely it will be there. I, I think that everything what you can imagine, what should be in the game, it will be there, you know, sooner or later, because that's our goal, build the ultimate game, where is everything what should be there you know and what is possible to make and uh, and it's set to our vision so <laughs> uh eight ten i strike no you know this is what the pmc cannot afford so that's not like the our vision so uh what weapons are planned for the future there is around the 50 guns which we want to implement I think the one is like the all this AK stuff. There is brand. There is like the I don't know. I will just be here like the one hour to just say everything. There is even special guns for the bosses plan. So every guy, every boss should have the his own pistol with the special customization. So you can collect them and uh, yeah, put them maybe in the wall or just flex with them. So. So there is one billion of the things, you know. Black market, uh, okay, trading. There is no plan for the market, like the, the market which is accessible for everybody. Uh, we think that it's completely changing the dynamic of the game because now you access so uh, almost everything just for the money. Uh, this is what we don't want, you know, or I don't want. Uh, but we will have the trading between the guys, you know, so, so you can, of course, trade, you can find some place, you can like the exchange the items, or maybe we can do something differently, but there will not be online market, uh, like in the other games, like uh, Diablo, for example, you know, uh, 
uh, there was some kind of the rogu stuff uh, we had in the we have uh, in the design that you will be play able to play as the rogu uh, it was mostly developed for the player killers who killing their own faction as the punishment and um, then the uh, faction will get you out and you will have to play as the as the bandit or like the rogu pmc and you will have some kind of the limited access to the to the vendors and uh, you will have to pay the bounties to return back to the faction but uh, we don't know how to do it for the people who wants to just play as rogu without killing the other players you know so we just postpone it it will be introduced later and with everything because there is also missing the capturing of the camps what you see now is the the bandits around the aoes or area of interest for example military base there is only two of them there should be four you will be able to capture them and use them as the better spawn point and or use them as the it will also unlock the unlock the some vendors so we are hoping that the factions will fight for these camps and do a lot of pvps there so it's like the part of the of the of the future uh you know this is the goal we want that the that the world is uh, is active it's like the changing you know it's like the it's not static like it's now and every time when you join uh to the game it could be different because some faction could have could uh could have the different landing zones could have uh, different camps and uh you should adapt you know you can try to fight for them and whatever there will be as i said there will be some reward for it like it's uh, the spamming points are more closer or uh you will unlock some special vendors as the dragging body dragging was dropped from the early access we wanted to have it but uh, because it was looking really bad we just postponed it uh, and it will be like the 60 percent in the first update you know it's like the it's it's super immersion thing i love it when i saw it in the squad when the people are dragging their friends you know behind the corner and then like the working on him it looks so cool so so we want to have it in the game but it wasn't possible to do it for the early access uh pve events there will not be now pve events they will be definitely later when the game is more stable and we will think about running uh, uh, better live ops and have the events not only in the pve but maybe we can do a lot of more things it's like the one of the goal to change the map for you uh, there is pve and pve vp shared progression this is what we are planning now now it's shared you know we will see how it's working we think that the game is so uh, should be like the difficult enough and there should not be too big difference between the pve and pvp uh, when you compare it to the progress and what we are getting so we will see if we will find that people are like the abusing or getting the big advantage uh to the P from the pve and using it for the pvp then we will definitely react on it and maybe get the get uh, some kind of the disadvantage on the pve so it's like the for us it's same game it's not like the like i don't want to say this name but in the other game where you are playing the pvp and then you are playing as the completely different guy uh so so for us it's same you know so uh body dragging i already outright stage sorting stage sorting it's like the almost implemented but there is missing button for it or like the we didn't test it we didn't do it so stage sorting is there but you have to do it manually so you have to sort it by yourself you know later we will just do it uh uh for you you know so it's like the sorry about it uh i know it's pain in the ass it's like the not good uh we will edit um uh if there is plans to add the animals um 
There is already several animals. You know, there is like the flies, dogs, frogs. <laughs> you know, there are uh, uh, come on, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. You know, so it's like the there is like the first set of the of the of the animals. So, um, uh, can you lower the volume of the mosquitoes, please? Hey, we have some really cool idea, you know, and that's like the come with one of the guy here, that if you will camp a lot and stay in the one place, then the mosquitoes will be like the more louder, because this is how it's in the real life, you know. So, so they will like the abuse you and you have to move to the different place, you know. So, that's like the, that's uh, maybe we will implement. And we also want to implement that there is dead bodies and they are there for the longer time. So the flies will be more around it and the body will be rooted, rotted, rotted? Uh, rotten. Rotten, more rotten, you know, so it's the, this stuff. And, you know, maybe in the future we want to have the stuff which is like the, in, the, in the jungle. But I am not sure if we will implement the proper monkeys. We want to have that the jungle is reacting on your sound, you know. So it's like the, if you are starting to shoot, there will be more calm or the, some monkeys will start to scream or whatever. So it will be different. Maybe it will reveal your position. So this is something what is uh, what is in the plants, but uh, again in the road. Uh, are there hidden poise? Um, there is a lot of stuff which is hidden, or like not in the map. You have to discover the things. Uh, there is uh, some kind of the good things uh, which we get from the real Laos. Uh, region, which are exactly almost exactly same as at that region, so you can discover it. It's mostly now for the just going and and see. I think later there will be maybe some loot or or like the more interesting to explore it. Um, sometimes a little bit harder because if you put something some some vista, it will be more like definitely easy to snipe from this position, which we don't want. So we have to also think about the gameplay and, uh, you know, so the people are not abusing it. Uh, hands, <laughs> cats and dogs for the base. That sounds like the inner purchase, you know, so that would be cool. No, I'm f joking, no inner purchase. Uh, yes, we can do like the everything, you know, in the base. So even like the running dogs and like the doing things, but we need to have the time. And I think the, the, there is more important work than just the dog, uh, for example. So, um, you know, we are still in the team. We are still have the, around the 50, 60 developers. And uh, even we are trying a lot and working hard and trying to be as effective as possible. It's uh, just uh, not possible to do everything what we want immediately. So it, we have to put it in the line and just work on the stuff, so not everything will be there immediately. Infection, fever, jungle diseases, this is what is in the plan because it's very hard to operate in the jungle when we were talking with the people. Or maybe you see the platoon, you know, when they had like the always some kind of the problems and everybody like the, it's, it's not like the easy environment and you are getting a lot of uh, sicknesses there. So, uh, that's what we are planning, you know. If you will be too long somewhere, so maybe you have to take care about yourself, get some pills or whatever. That's something what we are thinking. But of course, we don't want to have the, uh, to have it like the really hard, you know, or like the too much abusive that you just like the, uh, put your hand in some mat and you immediately get the disease. So, uh, Okay, just one thing, uh, guys told me, because we are talking already 45 minutes, okay, it's, it's really good times with you guys. Okay, so I will talk about the prices and the uh, additions. They are already on the Steam. Uh, we have the four additions. What? Okay, the prices are not done. Okay. So there is four editions. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. There is standard edition, there is tactical edition, there is elite edition, and there is uh, support edition. Uh, standard edition will cost $35 or euro. Is it right? 57 it will cost the tactical, allied 79 and 99. 99 will cost the final. I put three video to shit on. Oh, it's been also the Tom Vigim. Okay, so we are trying to share the screen with you. Okay, screens. Give a second. Uh, okay. Do you see them or not? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, did you see them? Did you see them? Okay. So we are going with the like the typical stuff that uh, you're getting the better equipment, you're getting the better stage, which will be very useful for the for the vibe. And for the supporter edition, we are giving you some specific stuff, which is mostly the t-shirt gloves and, um, and uh, uh, you know, the supporter badge and this kind of the stuff. Uh, this supporter edition will be available only during the early access so maybe we will change it, but this like the t-shirt and gloves and this kind of the stuff, you will receive only the guys who are who are like the working with us on the early access. So who buy the game during the early access and the people who buy the uh, the game after the early access will not be able to receive it. So I hope that uh, you will help us because the and by the by the like the really expensive version because the servers are costing a lot and i think the most of you guys will play this game like the for the next eight years and uh, you know we don't want to end in some trouble that we just don't have the money and we have to close the company so so uh i hope you like it uh uh i think the 35 for the for the standard edition is like the now is good it's early access the price will be dif the prices will be different after the early access we will go different definitely for the standard edition around the 60 or maybe 70 because it will be in the next few years uh dollars so you will get it for the half or almost half and uh, have it forever as i said we are not planning to any in a purchasing except for the charity Okay, guys, I'm leaving the, the, this option because I want to support a lot of other guys uh, which are not uh, lucky like we are and uh, spend some, like to give them some time or help them to become, like the, to help the others. I think they deserve it and we are enjoying the times and playing the games, but there is a lot of people around the world who are not as lucky as we are. And uh, let's see how uh, often we will do it. And it's only depending on you. You will get the maximum to some kind of the cosmetic from it. There will not be any gameplay influence stuff. It's mostly really charity. So, so if you will buy it, we will give them all, uh, all every penny except the fee, uh, which we will pay to the Steam and we will don't have anything from it. It's like the, it's something what I want to want to do. Uh, okay, I need to see you and you're like the what you are saying. So, uh, so you know, so I hope that this is the clear. Uh, okay. Uh, the another news is that in the Monday we will release the release date okay so in the monday you will definitely know when the game is going out okay i think you will be happy okay 
and this is going to be super crazy for us because I am so afraid of this launch and really it's because I am so afraid that so many people are wants to try this game and we need to we need to um take care about the servers and the, you know it would be great if you don't buy it like the first minute just let the server like the settles you know so the monday is not the release date monday is the release date for the release date you know so please you know don't be over exciting okay uh and we will also release some trailer for it so you will see some other stuff but i think there will be nothing completely new what you never see okay so um yes there will be upgrades for between the versions you know we work with the steam a lot because because of you and because so many people wish list us we are getting even the attention from the big guys so i am so happy that steam is working with us to make the to make the release as fluent as possible and you know it's like there's something what we never imagine because the small studio and even like the x mobile it's very hard to uh you know we lost almost all our contacts and the relationship between the guys because we moved to the different space and we have to build it again so thank, thanks to you and the number of the wish lists, which are really great, you know, it's it's like the it's super great for the for the for the like the number of the wish wishes on the wish list. It's like the thank you guys, you know, it's like the it's something what we love, and uh, I think that everybody in the company is just living in the dream, you know, it's like the what's happening here. So please be patient. We're trying our best. I'm 100% sure that it will not be without problem, you know, because like the, there is always problem with the release. But we will try to do our best uh, to fix them, to help you, you know, be with you, so the so you can play and to uh, enjoy the game. Okay, so I will have to probably end in the seven minutes because I have to go back find the bugs, fix it, you know, play the game and like the, you know, prepare for the release. So, you know, I cannot just the talk and uh, even I love to talk with you. I'm really enjoying it um, and reading your, your comments. That's really cool. Um, so thank you very much. And I hope that we will see each other in the game. The Madfinger guys, will have the uh, tag in their name and it will be MFG there. You know, nobody can take it. We just prohibit it. So if you will find somebody, please don't kill him immediately and maybe he can help you or kill him, you know, whatever. And make the screenshot and put it somewhere. So it doesn't matter. But if there is MFG Mara, don't kill him. That's me, you know. So I will make the game harder for you if you will kill me so everyone focus vicky <laughs> okay thank guys see you soon ciao